This video tutorial is going to show you how to get an announcement bar in your website. Um, you can see here on iWebUnlimited.com that I've added an, an announcement bar up here that says read my new post about the future of iWeb called iWeb and Beyond. And the users can click on it and it tucks away with a little button that can uh, come back if they click on it again. So uh, the question then comes, how do we get that onto our own iWeb sites? So I've created a whole tip here that shows you how to do that that you can access from the tips blog but this you're probably watching from the video tutorials and um, so there's a couple steps that you need to do number one you just need to download the attention bar zip file click that and it will download the file that you need okay once that is downloaded um, I guess while that's downloaded let me show you I've created just a simple little uh, page you see this here it just says attention bar and notice that there's no bar in the top right now so we're gonna add it to this page here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to my downloads and I'm gonna drag this attention bar um, zip file um, so it's alongside of that HTML file that I published with iWeb so I'm gonna double click on the zip file to unzip it if it didn't do it automatically you may have that set to do it automatically so if you do then you are probably looking at this attention bar folder and just make sure that that folder is alongside of your HTML file. I can go ahead and delete this zip file now because I don't need that. Inside this folder, you'll just find a couple folders, CSS, images, and JavaScript. Nothing in here that you'll need to get into. Just make sure that this folder is alongside of your HTML page that you published from iWeb. Okay. Then the next step is you need to open this HTML file with an, with an HTML editor. I myself prefer to use Coda but you can use Dreamweaver, Espresso, and many of others, even TextEdit if you'd like. Uh, just make sure if you use TextEdit that you uncheck or you check the checkbox that says ignore rich text commands in HTML files or else it will not work. So um, I'm going to open this up with Coda and what we want to do is take the code, if you come back to the page here, this code right here, if you copy this and paste it right before the closing head tag. You can see there's an opening head tag and a closing head tag. So right before it, I'm just going to come over here and hit return a couple times. I'm going to paste it right there. Okay. And then right here it says attention bar start. And then it has all the parameters and then there's, there's the end. So um, just by adding that, really, you're done. If I come over here and hit preview, then look at this, I've got my bar. That's really all there is to it. So just make sure you download the file and you add the code. Now, how do we customize this slightly? Well, let me just explain what a few things mean. Position fixed, okay? You can see I've added a bunch of um, how to customize it down below here, and I explain what these all are under the customization section. But um, like positioning fixed, if you were to put inline instead, let me show you if I put inline and I hit preview, then what happens is as I scroll, and this page isn't long enough to scroll, but as I scroll, this will follow us, is what that would do, rather than fixed where it stays at the top. Okay. The next one displays, you can see this will show how the, how the, the attention bar is displayed upon the first load. So when it's first displayed, um, how do you want it to show up? The different options are delayed, so it shows just a little bit later, or it's already expanded, it's collapsed, or it only shows up when the user starts to scroll. So for example, if I wanted to do um, collapsed instead, watch this, and then I hit preview, then you see it shows up as collapsed already. So then I can open it from there and uh, then it comes from it. So that's kind of some options. Um, the display delay, the speed that it shows up, the height, it's 30 pixels. But you see if I were to boost this up to like say 60 for example, then you see it's much larger and taller. So you've got those options. Um, the collapse button height, if you want that to be larger. Uh, the message fade delayed, how many, how long, and this is a milliseconds by the way, so 2000 equals 2 seconds, this would be 1.5 seconds. Easing the, is the other option is to do it linear, so you just type in linear would be the other option there, and then if we refresh this, you'll see kind of the difference, it's very just yoink, instead of being kind of more of a swing kind of a an option so that's in there. Uh, the font size if you want it to be bigger so see if I change this to like 15 for example you can see it's much much bigger so kinda nice. Um, font color if you don't want it to be black let's say we want it to be red I just simply put in red and you see there it is it's red now so makes that very simple. We can also change the background color over here 
where it says light yellow, you can see that's our background color right now. Let's say that we wanted it to be, um, instead of you know light yellow, let's just say we wanted it to be just white, you know, just a plain white. And you can see now it's white kind of in the background instead. So you've got some different options that you can do. And it does accept different colors. For example, if, if I put number zeros, six of them, that means black. And you can see it's very much black, which we'd have to also change our text to be white. So you can change the background color very easily. Position, you can have left or right. If I change it to right, then it simply shows up on the right side instead of the left, as you can see. So that's easy enough. Um, enable cookie. Let me explain this a little bit. It, this By default, I have it set to true. And basically what that means is that if a user closes this, and then they kind of browse your site and they come back to this page, it will remain closed because the cookie was stored saying this person closed it. So it will remember what they last did. If you put it to false, it'll always show up inside there. And you can even set to when you want the cookie to expire. Like after one day, I want it to show them again. Or you could say, you know what, if they, within 10 days, for example, and then 10 days, then it will reset and it won't remember what their cookie was. So, um, so you have those options too, which is kind of nice. Um, the message delay too, if you want it to kind of delay how it shows it. Um, and then this right here where it says text, this is where we actually change our message. Okay, you can see right here, mine says we have an important announcement to make. iWebLimited.com is awesome. See it? And then here is a link. See it here. So what you want to do if you want to change this to your own link is change the hyperlink. So you do www.yoursite.com and then maybe change the t link title in here to something like, uh, you know, uh, see my site. This is just for the title tag. And then you can change this link to be whatever you wanted to. So you can change those links very easily. Okay. Um, and then that is all. You know, that's the rest of the, the message. So this message, you know, it can't be too long. I don't know if I do something too long, but you can kind of see what it looks like here, you know. So you have a good, a good message, and it, you can kind of wrap it if you want it to be there. So um, if you don't want a message, you want just an image, then you would just replace this with an image instead. Um, and just You'd have to use the image code. You can do a Google search to find that. The other options here is I've, I've, you see the image. By default, um, the image is a bullhorn. You see that right there? And I've included some other images inside there that you can kind of choose from. I kind of listed them on here as well as the, um, let's see here, where did I put it? Or as the announcement right here. So you can either put important or tip. And let me show you what those look like. So if I did, instead of announcement, I, I put in important. And we went and previewed that. Then you see it shows kind of an exclamation point, which is kind of more just like this is urgent. And if you want to do something different, you can put in tip. And you see it adds like a little light bulb. So if you want to add your own, just make sure you have a graphic that's about that size. And you would put it inside of this attention bar images section. Put it in here. Just make sure it's 32 by 32. And then, you know, use uh, web-based standards for uh, naming it, lowercase, no spaces. And then just replace it here. And then you could use your own image if you wanted to. So, um, yeah, that's really all there is to it. Then just save and um, see if I save this here. And then I actually went and looked at the full page, which is right here. Here's the full page in Safari, and there it is. So um, it's really nice. So it makes it pretty simple to add and a great little attention bar to the top of your site. So hope you find this helpful and enjoyable, and thanks for watching. And thanks for visiting iWebUnlimited.com. And if you feel that this has helped you, um, we appreciate donations. It keeps the site running and keeps us pushing. So thanks very much for visiting iWebUnlimited.com.